Summer is here. And you know what that means for us East County residents? Temperatures are rising. You know, but we love where we live. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep your home cool during those summer days where it gets a little warm. My name's Steve Rozart, and I'm a local real estate agent, and I wanna give you some energy efficient tips to keep your home cool this summer. Now, the first thing on the list is gonna be the use of fans and ventilation. Might seem very simple, right? But you can actually use fans and ventilate your home pretty efficiently and keep those electricity bills down during those summer months. Now, the most important part of it though, you've gotta have cross ventilation. We do have some great breezes that cross over San Diego County. We have to use them to our advantage, if you know what I'm saying. So make sure you get some cross ventilation, get those breezes coming through the house and use those fans to actually push the hot air out of your home. Now, second on the list, most people won't think of this, but blinds and curtains can actually block out a lot of the heat. So during the day when it's at its warmest, make sure you close everything up, close those blinds, close those shutters, and close those curtains to make sure that we are blocking out as much heat as we can. Those sun's rays, they love to penetrate that glass and actually just heat that house up. And if you keep all that out, it does a great job of keeping your home cooler. Now, the next thing on the list, you gotta manage heat generating activities. And this is really important to me because this is the reason we cook outside so much, if you know what I'm saying. So we love to barbecue during the summertime, but I didn't really think about it until we started writing this article. And I'm like, oh, well, one of the reasons we barbecue so much is because we cook outside. Try and do everything that generates a lot of heat and move it outdoors. Cooking is the, one of the biggest things on the list. Don't run your ovens. Go ahead and cook outside. Pizza ovens have become very popular, barbecues, smokers, wonderful ways to enjoy those summer evenings, but keeping all the heat outside and keeping your house cool at the same time. The other thing that most people don't think about, how you actually have lights on in your house can affect the heat generated in your home. So switch all your bulbs to LED lights, and that's one way to help keep your house cool during these summer months. Next on the list, obviously, and should go without saying air conditioning. Air conditioning has changed a lot over the years. I have a lot of clients that have put in mini splits instead of whole house systems. And what's nice is they can keep one room cool and uh, not have to cool the entire home. Much more efficient, much more economical. The other thing is, is make sure you check your insulation. As we've done like honeydew projects over the years and changed things around and made some upgrades to our home, some of the insulation has moved around and we've never put it back. So check your insulation, make sure everything is in place to really maximize the efficiency and use of your air conditioning system. The other thing, and lastly on the list that I will always use is uh, you gotta use mother nature, if you know what I'm saying. Well, the sun is always beating down on us in these summer months, but if you have a great shade tree that's either shading your roof line or shading your windows. It does a great job to keep the heat off of your roof line and make sure that you do not have those sun's rays penetrating and uh, really warming up your home. So if you have some trees, make sure you keep them healthy, let them go ahead and shade the property and do what you can. And if you're looking for shade trees, some great re resources here in San Diego County to provide good shade uh, for your yard, for your home, or maybe just for one side of the house so that you can actually use mother nature to go ahead and keep your cool, your home cool and uh, more efficient during these summer months. So here's just five things that we use and we use it kind of regularly. Um, one of the final things I'll probably recommend to you is just keep things light and natural. Um, some of my clients even ask, like, I, I wanna, I'm thinking about painting my home, what should I do? Well, by using lighter colors, that actually helps keep your home more energy efficient during those summer months. So lighter and brighter rejects the sun's rays, keeps everything cooler. And so think about that if you're may, doing maybe a, a major change uh, to anything on the outside of your home, a renovation or anything of that nature, just something to consider to make your home more energy efficient during these summer months when the heat kind of really picks up. So hope you got some value out of this. 
If you have any ways to improve or become more energy efficient and beat those heat, hot, 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 hot days um, during the summertime, leave it in the comments below. I love to learn what more people are using to make their home more energy efficient and beat those really hot days during the summer months. So hope you got some value out of this. If you have anything, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have a way to beat the heat that's energy efficient.